good morning. Um, I'm going to be doing the main reading a little bit later today, um, just because there's really a lot going on this morning. Got to get to work in a moment. But this is just a very quick reflection, really, on yesterday's reading and something I said because Rebecca wasn't able to have a baby. And I remember saying, well, it says in, in the scripture, but then God blessed her and then she was able to have a baby, um, babies, Esau and Jacob. Um, for Isaac um, and it's a difficult one even as I was saying that in the in the reasoning afterwards when I said that God blessed her and then she was able to have a baby is that difficult like you know it's a double-edged sword isn't it you know that when we get granted the things that we deeply ask for some especially something as deeply emotional as having a baby being able to to give birth um, then we say we're blessed by God but then what happens when we really want that thing and is not granted to us? Does that mean we're not blessed? Do you know what I mean? And how are we seen in the eyes of God in those situations? Do you know what I mean? And, you know, I'm not a woman and don't know how that feels. So I don't really want to get into the pregnancy analogy too deeply. But obviously that's what we were talking about yesterday. And it's the most, you know, it's a very emotive one that we can relate to whether we're able to have children or not. Um... But I think it's just that thought of actually, you know, if you're not able to get the thing that you're really praying for, um, especially on a deep emotional level, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean you're not blessed. That doesn't mean you're not seen by God or appreciated by God or loved by God, you know, because we are still blessed. What it means is, I believe, and again, this is just me talking, is that there's a different plan for us, you know um there's a different and we don't always understand that plan at that time but then when we end up and what we do with that different context that we were you know praying for hoping for the direction our lives can take in that track actually is possibly where we need to be and where god wants us to be and it's how we deal with and respond to those situations you know not everyone on the planet has the same journey to take. Everyone's got a different journey to take and God's got different plans for, for us. So as hard as and difficult as it can be, um, when we see this person getting the things and it's not happening to us, why is it not happening to us? Are we cursed? Doesn't God love us? Has he abandoned us? Do you know what I mean? And again, I don't want to oversimplify, but I, you know, I, I would argue that actually keep the faith and it's not, to, you know, the blessing isn't really do we get the thing or not. The blessing is actually about how we deal with the thing, the, the you know, the, the cards we've been dealt in a way. Because not everyone who gets the things they ask for, you know, are, are again, live ac living according to how God wants them to. There's plenty of people with riches and all these little things. And But as God, as it says somewhere else in the Bible, you know, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to enter the gates of heaven, you know. So actually not looking at what other people have, but actually what is the life we're living and knowing actually, no, we are blessed even to be taking the breath and making the prayer. We are blessed even to have the opportunity, but it's then what we do with that journey is the, the key thing really. So, but fully aware that, yeah, that tension of yeah, that feeling of being blessed or heard and being not blessed and unheard can feel like actually we're cast out. But I, I, you know, I just wanted to say is it's not that. It's, it's a different, more complex relationship that God has with its people, not just granting wishes, you know, like Santa Claus, you know. So um, I will, like I say, I will do the main reading a little bit later today, but I just want to add these thoughts in this morning uh, on reflection of yesterday. Blessed love and speak with you later, God willing. Bless the love.